T. Sardis, Metropolitan, Town Champion, The Preacher Pan, Four Stars King, the trailer driven to win. Nine of the finest three-year-old Colt Pacers in all of harness racing. In behind the gate, the gate swings into the stretch for the second heat of the little brown job. Bring it on. Here up them pacing, going right up for the lead. That's blessed out to grab the racetrack. Western Terror second as they race into the turn. Driven to win, gets away on the inside third. Outside four stars, King fourth. Times are changing fifth. Maltese artist sixth. Metropolitan seventh. Town champion racing eighth. The Preacher Pan trails the field down the backside. Going to the first quarter mark. Field over to the quarter. 27 and one. Into the turn they go on top of the field. It's bullist out. Luke Willett with the lead by a length and a quarter. Western Terror right there, second. Driven to win third. Racing fourth on the outside. Here comes Times are a changing. The end of the stretch, first time. Multi Sardis follows the cover on the outside. Four stars king as they race over to the half. Metropolitan to the outside. Halfway home, 55 and one. Second quarter in 28. Onto the backside they go. Blessed out the leader. Times are changing. Up on the outside, second. Western Terror trapped in third. Multi Sardis on the outside, fourth. Driven to win, racing fifth. Metropolitan is sixth. Town champion the outside, seventh. Four stars king. Treading the field, the preacher pan. Three quarters, one, 23 and two. 28 and one, third quarter. Around the turn, blessed out the leader. Times are a-changing on the outside second. Western Terror, Brian Sears wants some racing room. Eighth of a mile to go. Times are a-changing, coming on. Blissed out, Western Terror comes to the outside. Times are a-changing on the outside with the lead. It's over, times are a-changing. Ron Pierce win the Little Brown job. One, 51 and three. Dead game first over. Times are changing. Wears down Blistow. Western Terror got through there for second. Pelling power strikes for Perfect World and the Little Brown Jug. I'll tell you what, guys. We talked about how tough times are changing is. He's even tougher than we thought. Huge, huge, huge effort. Oh, my God. Ronnie Pierce, he pulled this horse just past the quarter pole. Smart drive by Ronnie. He just kind of didn't use him going to the half and he worked his way up and then worked his way around the turn and it looked like he still had pace at the three quarters 123 and two just an awesome effort by times are changing awesome Changing perfect world enterprise, the old Westbury, New York. Red Pellet, Ron Pierce, win the little brown jug. said one more time to the winner's circle. Well, you made it. Congratulations. Richard Brooks, Perfect World Enterprises. Three in a row. David Brooks, excuse me. Three in a row in Ohio, and that's exactly what you wanted. Thank you very, very much. It's uh, an incredible pleasure. Thank you, uh, Ruth, Red Pelling, and especially Ron Pierce and Brian Sears for doing an incredible job. Thank you. You were a winner with Nick's Fantasy, but you were not here that particular day. No, but I'm here today, and it's, 
making up for it. Glad to have you here. Brett Pelly, the winning trainer. Just an unbelievable performance. Your entire stable. I'm not sure where Western Terror finished in the last, but times are changing. He was just super. Oh, he, he's just so brave. I mean, tip your hat to him. You know, he's just a, a great horse. And uh, to come first up like he did from that far out, going that speed, uh, it was just a huge effort. I'm just so proud of him. I understood your interview earlier. You said that he's better at that type of a trip where he can see what he's got to get. Well, he's a giver, you know, he just keeps pressing and he won't go away. You know, we just knew he wouldn't go away and, and sometimes uh, the fractions might not land his way, but uh, today there, going into that speed, he loves it. The winning driver, Ron Pierce. Winner of the Little Brown Jug. What a year you're having in 2004. Yeah, I'm just, uh, just, you know, I'm very lucky. Now, you've won some major races. But to win here at Delaware, I know that's always uh, the big thrill for Ron Pierce and uh, the Little Brown Jug. Uh, you know, nothing like it. I tell you, it's, it's great. It, you know, it's right there. Was there a point, though, in the mile that you were concerned at any point, or did you really feel you had him from the get-go? The only time I was uh, a little concerned was going around the first turn. I had Mike Lachance on the outside of me, and I had to get my horse backed up enough to where I could get Mike in so I had clean sailing. Tom Wright presentation of the ring, the winning driver, Ron Pierce. Ron, I, I know you're getting to make a habit of this, but it's a good habit to have, and I think you're almost going to start competing with Roger on his, but you're having a sensational year, and, and we're awful proud to have you back in the winner's circle again at Delaware. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Yeah, I really appreciate it. Yeah, Ron. The Breeders' Award, Phil Terry. Hanover Shoe Farms. Do we have a representative of Hanover? Murray? Where's Murray Brown? Well, maybe not, but Phil Terry? Just a fantastic day. This crowd, this weather. What a weekend. What a week. Also want to thank Kroger's for the floral presentation in the winner's circle. Bill Mahone up to the horse's head for the presentation to a young man, the caretaker. Listen to this name. Chris Trotter wins with a pacer, the Little Brown Jug. Bill? Folks, this is really the special award. This is a guy that spends hours and hours with this horse, and it's my pleasure to present him with this beautiful watch. Give him a hand, please. Chris, tell us something about times are a change. Uh, there's not much to tell. He pretty much looks after himself, and Ronnie does the rest, so it's all good to go. Right now, he wants a drink out of the little brown jug. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. We ask the media to please stand by because Ron Pierce is going to go on the victory lap. He'll be back in about three or four minutes to answer any of your questions. And knowing Ron, he'll probably be here until dark answering those questions. But we do want the victory lap with Ron Pierce. They got flowers to toss to the fans here at Delaware, Ohio. Changing! And here's one of the great traditions about the Little Brown Jug is the uh, victory lap where the lead times are changing around the outside of the track and driver Ron Pierce will uh, throw flowers